What's up guys and welcome back to another video on the MF Automotive YouTube channel where today I'll be doing a review on this Acura TLX A spec. I should reiterate that this isn't a full in-depth review you are normally accustomed to seeing, but rather somewhat of a comparison video highlighting the differences between the A spec model and the rest of the TLX lineup. If you are interested in watching a video where I go deeper into trim levels, fuel economy, and so on, with a broader focus on the vehicle, in this case the Acura TLX itself, then please follow the link in the description box below to the full review I did. Before we do, I'd like to extend a special thank you to the awesome folks over at Maple Acura, located in Vaughan, Ontario, for kindly supplying the vehicle featured in today's review. If you are in the market for any new or used Acura, make sure to check them out. If they don't have what you're looking for, they'll be more than happy to source it for you. All their contact information can be found in the description box below. Now, back to the review. The A-Spec trim level has always been an elusive trim level within the Acura lineup, offering consumers the exciting opportunity to spruce up the look of their already aggressive vehicle if they so desire. Recent Acura models have received the A-Spec treatment in the form of larger wheels, restyled bumpers, and enhanced interior bits to fall in line with the sporty theme. However, the A-Spec distinction wasn't always offered as a specific trim level. If we take a look back through the brand's former lineup, we see that the A-Spec distinction was actually an individual package, or an add-on if you may, that was available to you at the time of purchase. First debuting on the Acura RSX Type S, the distinction quickly found its way over to the brand's then mid-sized luxury sports sedan, the Acura TL, and contrary to popular belief, the kit added more than just a few cosmetic niceties. For one, the suspension had been retuned and fitted track coil spring shock setup. Larger wheels followed suit which allowed Acura to fit more grippy tires. Both these items in conjunction with each other came together to improve what was already an excellent handling sedan. Furthermore, what was also offered was a subtle body kit, a lip spoiler, and the aforementioned factory approved performance modifications. Fun fact about the spoiler which you may not be familiar with, it was actually tested in a wind tunnel and proven to give you extra downforce. You don't see that very often now, do you? Following the success of the 2004 generation Acura TL, the 4th generation continued the legacy and it too offered the A-Spec package, albeit without any internal changes. However, don't fret as the attractive cosmetics associated with the A-Spec package stayed put and true to design and the super handling all-wheel drive system paired with the glorious 3.7 liter V6 was enough to win many, including myself, over. With the introduction of the TLX nomenclature in 2015, it was expected that the A-Spec would also dress the likes of Acura's newest sedan. However, it never came to fruition, on the earlier models anyway. Instead, they offered what was called a launch kit, which es essentially gave you the same cosmetic changes you would expect from the A-Spec. The facelift or mid-cycle revision, which sported the company's new design staple, the Diamond Pentagon Grille, did however bring back the A-Spec name, this time in the form of a trim level rather than a separate package. And that brings us to the present date, 2021, where the entire Acura lineup can be had with the A-Spec trim and it's not only limited to the cars. What you see in front of me now is an Acura TLX A-Spec finished in performance red pearl, which is a beautiful color might I add. Not to be biased or anything, in fact the entire color palette looks great. You may notice that this specific TLX is visually different from a quote unquote standard one, and you may be correct in thinking so. This TLX is fitted with some additional accessories, like the aero kit which adds these inlets or underbody spoilers on each corner of the bumper and in the center which adds to the overall angularity of the design. Along with that, it's also fitted with the All Season Protection Pack 1 which adds custom A-Spec branded floor mats and the trunk liner. Lastly, we have the black emblem kit which gives you the opportunity to darken your emblems if you prefer to contrast them to your color of choice. 
Under the hood, the A-Spec features the same 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine found in the rest of the TLX lineup, along with the addition of the 10-speed automatic transmission and Acura Supreme Super Handling All-Wheel Drive System. Configuring a vehicle identical to the specification on the Acura website comes out to $54,900. As expected, the A-Spec trim level throws in a few extra goodies, all of which are compiled on a list available on Acura's website. But I've also gone ahead and attached a screenshot to this video. Let, now let's go ahead and commence on a visual walk around of the exterior and interior for you to get a better idea of the differences found on the A-Spec. Starting with the front where the darker theme is instantly noticeable with the grille surround finished in gloss black and headlights with a black housing on the inside which I believe is specific to this trim level. The accessory underbody spoiler up front is also finished in black and sits below the A-Spec optioned LED fog lights. The side profile doesn't feature too much in terms of differences apart from the A-Spec badging on the fenders which is black, again part of the accessory kit, and mentioned underbody spoiler in the middle. The window trim also receives a transition to black and the wheels are also subject to a darker black-like finish. However, in this case, the wheels have been replaced with, with a set of Vossen. I'll put the exact model in the screen if I can find it, but the design is subjective to say the least. I think the polished look works well. Moving along to the rear where the underbo underbody spoiler continues but is finished in body color rather than the traditional colorway. We find a subtle spoiler on the back which dips down towards the middle and the aforementioned black badging. And that pretty much concludes the exterior. Moving inside is where we find a few differentiating factors. The interior is finished in black leather and features red stitching which really stands out when you enter the cabin in a positive way. The seats are both heated and cooled and feature leather on the outside with a suede finish pattern running down the middle. The steering wheel is A-Spec exclusive and features the logo near the bottom and is also a flat bottom design with perforated leather on the side and smooth on the top. The entire top of the dashboard is covered in soft leather with stitching. The same can be said about the door panels which possess the same stitching and leather. We also have ambient lighting which sets a calm tone when cruising at night as well as our infotainment display up top. The metallic speaker grills belong to the 17 speaker ELS premium audio system found on this trim level and they look fantastic. They are also uniformly replicated on the back too which is great. The rest of the interior is pretty similar to what you are accustomed to finding on all trim levels of the TLX in terms of technology and design, period. Well guys, that wraps up my look slash comparison on the Acura TLX A-Spec. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any future content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode.